Well, welcome back in everyone. Here is a look at Tyler with our Skyview camera brought to you by Cables Roofing. We're off to a quiet start this morning. Temperature wise right now we're sitting right at 80 degrees at Tyler Pass with a south wind at 10 miles per hour. So we do have a light breeze for us. The dew points at 75, so it is also humid, more humid than this time yesterday. Taking a look at the rainfall totals at each local airport uh, yesterday, we picked up about three tenths of an inch in Nacogdoches, 1.14 inches over at the Angelina County Airport, and then lesser amounts elsewhere, nearly 0.3 inches over in Henderson. So uh, with some much needed rainfall uh, yesterday. Now in terms of rain, are estimated amounts. Again, these are, uh, like I said, estimated by radar, so these are not exact amounts, but it at least gives us an idea of some of the areas surrounding the airports where we don't have official measurements on about roughly how much rain we've seen. Uh, nearly 2.4 inches over port, uh, the right at the tri point of Shelby, San Augustine, and Nacogdoches counties, and then 3.2 inches just south of Lufkin, 1.7 uh, inches in the north uh, west corner of Shelby County, and then nearly 9 tenths of an inch in northern Cass County, and about an inch over in the Crockett area for our day today. We will see a few more showers and thunderstorms out there. Nothing too widespread, certainly less coverage than yesterday, but there will still be again that chance of rain. So make sure to keep that eye to the sky. We'll see those high temperatures climb to near 100 degrees by the heat index climbs above 100, making it feel pretty hot out there. There's a look at what Futurecast has going through the morning hours. We'll see mainly dry conditions, but during the afternoon, we'll see some isolated showers and thunderstorms developing, especially into deep east Texas is where we will have the best chance of rain. But widespread activity is not expected. We'll dry things out. In fact, for the most part overnight, they'll can't rule out a passing shower or storm into Wednesday morning, certainly not out of the question. But as we head into Wednesday afternoon, we'll see an additional chance of a few more showers and thunderstorms out there. Your seven day forecast looks like this. We are are going to see the chance for a few showers and thunderstorms for the next several days here, but rain chance is a little bit lower to end the work week, which means we heat back up all the way to 103 for the high temperature on Friday. We will see storm chances increase again on Saturday, which will knock back down the temperatures and then we'll stay in the mid 90s heading into the start of next week. For deep east Texas, it is more of the same. Look for a few showers and thunderstorms over the next couple of days, especially today and tomorrow, but then only a pop up to isolate a thunderstorm Thursday and Friday, which warms things back up up to the 100s and then we'll be a bit cooler into the weekend as storm chances increase once again. But even though we are in September, we are still going to see some more highs in the 100s. Hopefully Friday, that will be the last day in the 100s for the rest of the year.